Hey y'all, we're out here at the construction site today and I'm going to be installing an Anderson 100 series window. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, first off, we're going to cut the house right. Alright, I'm back. I had a slight setback. The opening was not the right size, so I had to go back and reframe it. Now the next thing you want to do is we're going to put the flashing around the bottom of it. And I'm using the DuPont Lex Wrap. This is a 2x4 wall, so I'm using the 6 inch, the 6 inch tape. And you want to come up about 6 inches on each side. Um, we're going to make sure it's clean first. It is a little bit cold outside today and the stuff doesn't always stick that great when it's cold. So I'm going to use a heat gun just to warm it up a little bit. And this stuff is flexible so all you have to do is just kind of push it. Alright, so now that I have all the bottom flashing on, I'm going to go back and hit it with a heat gun real quick and roll it with a J roll roller to make sure it's stuck. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is cut the flashing up from the top because you want to be able to pull it back so you can lap it back down over top of the flashing on top. So you're just going to come down at a 45 degree angle to the corner. And you're going to just staple that up out of the way. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to put caulking, we're going to put it on the both sides and the top. We're going to stay about a quarter inch from the edge. And for the caulking, I am using Dynaflex Ultra in black. It's for window, door, and siding trim. All right, before we can set our window in place, we're going to um, put a few shims down here at the bottom. Um, I have these. They're like a big horseshoe, and um, you can snap off the end, so that's what I'm going to do. So you end up with like, a small horseshoe. And these are about an eighth of, eighth of an inch thick, so you can kind of stack them up as many as you need. Alright, so now we're ready to set our window in place.
That looks pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one or two screws in it just to hold it, and then we'll go inside and check levels and make sure we don't need to add any shims. So I'm using one and five eighths inch exterior screws. All right, so now we're inside. Um, what you want to do is you want to check level um, and then kind of check around the edges, make sure you have it spaced kind of in the center of the opening. Um, I only put one screw on the outside, that way I can adjust it if I need to. And um, it's showing that it is a little bit low on this left side, so what we're going to do is I'm going to add one of the little shims and see if that helps any. It's much easier if you have two people and you have somebody on the outside who's lifting up for you. <laughs> But yeah, that did fix it. So yeah, that looks good. I'm happy with the spacing. So now we're gonna go back outside and put all the screws in. All right, so now we're just gonna go and put um, screws around the entire outside of it. And again, I'm using one and five eighths exterior screws. Alright, so now we're going to put the flash in on both sides. Start with the sides first. Um, and this is called Tight Seal Window Flashing. I got it at Lowe's. Um, one thing about this is if it is the least bit cold outside, it does not stick well at all. So if it's like colder than 90 degrees, you're probably going to have to use a heat gun with it. <laughs> but you can go a few inches up above the window and a few inches below the window. You want to make sure it's flat and you don't have any wrinkles or anything in it. Alright, so now I'm just going to go over it with a heat gun. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is put a drip edge on the top of the window. Um, I bought this stuff at Lowe's, and it was white. It came in, I think it was a 10-foot length. And um, I just spray painted it black so it matched the window. So what we're going to do first is put a bead of caulkle on the top, set this down. I'm going to hold it in place with two roofing nails, and then we'll flash over top of that. All right, um, now we're gonna run a piece of flashing over top of that and it's gonna overlap uh, these pieces on the side by a few inches. Again. 
Alright, so now that's all. The only thing we have left to do on the outside is to pull this down and tape it. All right, we're back inside, and uh, the last step in getting this sealed up is going to be um, applying low expanding foam around this outer space. Um, I got this stuff. It's great stuff. It's for doors and windows. So all we're going to do is go, go all the way around. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it. That was a basic window install. If you have a larger window, there might be a few more steps involved, but this was pretty much the gist of it. As always, check your local building code just to make sure there aren't any other requirements in your area. Thanks for watching.